Hello YouTube, this is uh, Majin J. Uh, today I'll be doing the unboxing of the GooPhone Wi-Fi. I got this from uh, AndroidForCheap.com. Uh, so far I haven't opened it yet. I just removed my shipping label just for privacy purposes. Uh, now I gotta say that it took them quite a long time. I paid for a DHL Express mail and just for them to get it shipped it took about nine days and then it took about three days for me to receive it uh... overall almost two weeks uh... when i paid for fast shipping but uh... i finally got it so let's see what's inside the box Open. There it is. Okay, nothing else in here. Let's remove this. All right, here's the box. On the sides, it says um, iPhone 4S. Over here, we see an Apple logo. iPhone 4S again, and iCloud. On the top, you have the iPhone 4S image. At the very bottom, this is what the box says. It says, uh, let me focus this a little bit for you. It says um, iPhone 4S Black, 32 gigabytes. Designed by Apple in California. That's kind of clever. Um, and then the rest, you know, is uh, barcodes and so on. Um, it says here 32 gigabytes. Now, the one I purchased is the one that has 8 gigabytes, okay? So let me focus again. There we go. Over here we have the phone itself. I suppose just this aside for a moment. Inside the box, it looks very similar to when you get a uh, an iPhone 4S. You have the instructions in here. You have a uh, SIM opener. You have the iPhone 4S manual. Okay, this is just uh, a copy of the original 4S manuals we got the fingertips okay and um, let's see what else we got here we got here the standard um, uh, accessories we got the USB cable we got the wall charger and the headphones I never like these uh, these are, you know, usually cheap and the sounds is poor quality, but, uh, I mean, for the price, I just got this for 205 uh, U.S. dollar, and uh, I paid $25 of shipping. Okay, so that being said, let's go to the phone now. Uh, the phone, already I can feel that the weight of it is, um, is, is, is kind of heavy. It, it doesn't feel light at all. Um, on the very bottom, um, here we have the home button, we have the ear speaker together with the front facing camera. Uh, on the sides, we have the silent switch with the volume rockers uh, up and down. At the very bottom, we have the, um, the charging port together with the, uh, with the microphone and the loudspeaker. Um, at the very back we have Apple logo and it says iPhone we just focus that for you okay so you can see at the back we have a uh, 5 megapixel camera I believe the one in the front I believe it's 1.3 uh, so let's go ahead and remove the metal frame protective film there you go it looks just identical to the original um, iPhone 4S. Okay, I'll be doing a separate review and a comparison with the original iPhone 4S. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just power it on real quick. Let's see. There we go. There we see the Apple logo at the start up. So let's wait until it boots up and let's see how uh, this phone runs. Uh, the GooPhone Wi-Fi runs at MTK6575, clocked at 1 gigahertz.
So before with the previous one I done reviews here, it was just 650 megahertz the most, so they were kind of slow and laggy. Uh, so I'm expecting that this one is going to be much uh, faster, and uh, I'm going to be able to play 3D games with it. Um, but again, so far the quality of the phone feels very good. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Um, again, I got this from AndroidForCheap.com, and they do have the lowest price uh, from what from from the search I did. Uh, but again, I mean, it, it they told me it wasn't their fault; it was the carrier's fault. But um, I, I'm a little bit skeptical about that, so I believe it was their fault. But anyhow, I got it. Um, I have it here in my hands, so. Uh, so far, you know, I feel that the phone has a great quality. It has, um, you know, it feels solid. Um, the user interface, you know, it's, it, it slides the pages really smoothly. Um, once again, I'll be doing a separate review on this phone. But this is just a quick look so you know what you're going to get inside the box and what to expect from the phone once you get it on your hands. Um, Oh, I just forgot to mention it over here. It's just like the 4S. It has the 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack, and uh, we have the power button on the on the top right here. Um, please let me know if you have any questions regarding the unboxing. Again, I will do as I always do a couple videos uh, showing you how to root it and so on. Um, I'm a member of the XDA developers website so I have a lot of buddies in there that they have worked hard on making and improving this phone in every aspect including software and hardware wise uh, again I'm gonna be uh, messing around with it to see because uh, I know I heard it has a couple issues with the uh, operating system but there's some updates and some modifications that have been done uh, so once again I'll work on that and uh, Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions and comment below. Okay, subscribe and have a good one.